Welcome back everybody for another video. This one's going to be a little interesting, a little bit different than what we would normally do because we might be able to make history or at least you might be able to jump in on history being made. With the release of D2R, obviously we've experienced a lot of interesting bugs and a lot of different things that aren't quite coded the same as they were in Lords of Destruction. We have the gamble bug currently that's still going on, the cold mastery bug and penetration bug that eventually got fixed, the IES bug which eventually got fixed, but this one has something where you will be able to literally hold a piece of history. This is the Cow King Can't Drop Cow King set pieces. Now back when the game first dropped, I think it was Inferno who actually had a clip showing that they got a failed set studded leather off of the Cow King. At the time I hadn't seen the video myself as well as sometimes it's just difficult to know what monster dropped what item. If you were to take an item level viewer and look at it, it would be a lot easier since the Cow King is going to be a different level than the rest of the cows around him. But right now we are doing a Hell Pacifist Sorceress because in D2R you can infinitely farm the cow level and the Cow King set is one of the strongest things for the Sorceress since it has a chance to cast static on it when struck. Well, needless to say, eight hours into farming the Cow King, a very interesting item dropped, and that made me realize that this might be the first artifact, the first thing that you'll be able to say, I had this before they patched it, and that is a failed set piece from the Cow King. And on top of that, ours is a little extra spicy because it also rolled ethereal. So let me go ahead and just Tossed in the clip right here so that you can have the official proof that we had dropped it in game. This is our single player thing. We've been doing it for about four streams now. Uh, and this happened after eight and a half hours of farming normal Cow King when I realized we were out of luck. Oh, that's, that's, that's so too bad. <laughs> like, problem. All right, here's a magic hard leather armor. Have I tried using it? No, but it doesn't work that way. Okay, not a failed set. Oh wait, no, that's not studded. Here it is. How much durability does studded leather have? I don't think it's 33 after 32. This is a failed set. So here is the studded leather in question, and you'll notice the trademark durability of 33 here. So how do you know that this is a failed set? What does it mean to be a failed set? And what are some of the ways that you can identify these types of things yourself? Well, to start off, here is a normal... Of course. Of course, the one studded leather that we buy. Here we go. All right, leave, leave the blooper in. And of course, here is a normal... Wait a minute, that's maximum durability. Get that out of there. Here is a normal studded leather armor with a durability of 32. So you'll see that Ethereal has a durability of 33. But Mac, isn't Ethereal items supposed to have less durability? Well, in fact, you're absolutely correct. When something is a failed set, what does that really mean? Well, if you have a base item that drops and it does roll as magic level or higher for quality, it'll go down the list. So first it'll check for unique, then set, then rare, and then magic. The game rolls a die basically in between each of these levels and says, did I hit? On a failed set, your dice roll hit on set. So it goes, cool, I'm gonna make a set item. Now I just need to check two things. One, is there a set item in the game for this base? So for something like that, let me give you a real example. We went and killed Cold Crow because we were looking for a gull dagger. And at that time, she actually dropped two daggers on the first time we killed her. She dropped a rare dagger that has 16 durability, and she dropped a magic dagger with 32 durability. That's twice the durability. This is a failed set. So whenever a set fails to roll, it will generate as a magic item with twice the durability. 
And since there's no set item in the game that is a dagger, this will automatically fail if it succeeds at rolling as a set. The other question that the game asks is, is the monster high enough level for the set piece? So how is it that the Cow King failed to drop a set studded leather? There is a set studded leather in the game, which is the Cow King's hide. And the Cow King is actually 11 levels higher than the required level for Cow King hide, which is Q level 20, if I recall correctly. So if they're high enough level and they can drop the base in their treasure class, how did we get to this point? And then on top of that, why is it more rare that it's ethereal? Well, it's actually really difficult to say for certain why this could have happened. There are two things that might be in play here. The Cow King might be hard-coded to not drop the Cow King set. Now, I saw some things on Reddit and a couple people in chat were talking about the idea of Blizzard's trying to balance the cow level because now that you can farm it infinitely, they didn't want it to be unfair to get the Cow King set. And that just doesn't really sit well with me. I feel like in all the press release that we got and, you know, the notification that we're going to be able to farm the cow level, they probably would have mentioned it somewhere in there that they're intending to balance out the power of being able to farm this area. I think it's much more likely that when they were reprogramming the cow level, because nowadays, if you finish the cow quest, meaning you kill the cow king, you can still open up the portal. My idea is that they had to very specifically reprogram the Cow King himself or how he is attached to this quest or how he's attached to the overall game structure because the rest of the cows in the cow level absolutely can drop the Cow King set. I'm positive that they just either missed a flag that says that the Cow King is a cow and can drop these items or something else in relationship to how it's reading the game files, how it's checking out its treasure class, something along the lines of it's failing a check at some point and spitting out failed set items. Now, when I say this might become the rarest item in D2R, or at least moving forward, it's because this almost certainly is going to get fixed. There's no way the Cow King isn't able to drop the Cow set. That would be ridiculous. Now, I'm almost certain that Blizzard is already aware of this and that it's just quite frankly not that high of a priority considering they're working on a patch for the first balance change in over 11 years coming to Diablo 2. So, this item may be one that only has a limited shelf life within which you'll be able to get it. If and when they fix the Cow King, they will then be dropping cow sets as they normally should. In normal, being able to drop the armor and the boots, and in Nightmare and Hell, being able to drop the helmet. So if they patch this and they fix this, anybody who has their hands on a failed set item from the Cow King will be the only people who can ever get those items ever again, unless you were to modify your game files or find some way to reverse patch back to the original version of the game that was released before 2.4 and whatever future patch fixes this is rolled out. On top of that, ours happen to roll as ethereal. So the only way that this happens is that if the item can be ethereal, it then does a check. And it's less than 1 in 10 items are actually going to generate as ethereal. So theoretically, if you are willing to farm it for long enough, you might be able to get a full set of ethereal failed set magic cow kings right now. You could have the war hat, the studded leather, and the heavy boots. I will say that I think that the heavy boots would actually be the rarest out of all of them and actually might not even be able to spawn. Since heavy boots can roll as Sanders or the Cow King, I assume that if it were to fail as the Cow King set, it would instead generate as Sanders. If you're somebody who you think that you understand item generation to the point where maybe there is a way to get these failed set pieces, I'd love to be able to read a resource or get that information myself because that is so interesting. So if you have a link to that or if you think you know, go ahead and post that in the comments below and let me know what you think. Obviously, a lot of the old heads are going to remember when you could get items that only spawned in 1.07 or earlier. Ridiculous items that just didn't exist in LOD anymore. And you would actually have to play a character on a previous patch, get those items, and then update to the most recent patch to have them in your single player file. So I'm really excited to hear what people might think about something like this being one of the first artifacts that you can get your hands on that might never exist again. Let me know down in the comments what you think, and I look forward to seeing you all in the next video.